This building is a giant billboard for Penn's investment in the immunology community. It's a really exciting opportunity to bring together about 25 different immunology labs all under one roof. We also have a number of basic science and translational science immunology labs going into this building. Research, clinical care, innovation are often housed in different spaces. What's exciting is bringing it all under one roof. So the Center for Clinical Epidemiology and Biostatistics has around 100 to 120 faculty members. Epidemiology, biostatistics, informatics, many of them will be moving over here together. I'm particularly thrilled about the fact that the population health and what we call the health services or care delivery aspects of Penn Medicine are all going to be together. All these different groups doing different types of science, but all in one place, will help really create breakthroughs. We put a lot of thought into how we designed this building. I love the big windows. I love being able to overlook Penn's campus. I am struck by the openness of the building. We have a stairway in our department, a big open stairway. You can walk down a flight or two and see colleagues that, when Blockly, I never get to see. There's an image of the scientist as the lone investigator in a dark lab by themselves tinkering with test tubes, and that couldn't be farther from the truth. The way big innovations and great breakthroughs happen in science is through interaction. When you have sort of a reshuffling of where labs are located, all kinds of new science flows from that. Our labs are going to work together and we're going to be able to do more than we could before. Science is evolving so quickly that you make a step and then you get stuck on something that somebody else may have expertise. Having the proximity to people who might be thinking differently really creates a unique opportunity you get to be venting to your coworker about a problem that you're having, and then someone overhears and says, well, actually, I've solved that. We need to put together informaticians with biostatisticians, with epidemiologists, with clinicians. To realize new connections the way Weissman and Carico did in that magical copier moment. I think we all know the story now of inventing mRNA technology through a chance encounter at a copy machine. And to have those turn into research that we're gonna to do together that is really gonna make a difference. It's been a tough time in research. There's been a lot of hits to the system, and I think that's caused a lot of consternation and worry and uncertainty. Having the leadership of Penn Medicine see and believe in the vision, it provides a lot of mental support when the going gets tough. We've been the leader in biomedical discoveries and biomedical treatments for decades. And if we don't continue to fund that, we will no longer be the leaders, and other people will be the leaders and will be left behind. Penn's commitment to discovery science, clinical translational research has been unwavering. It means a lot to be in an institution that is building at a time like this. And the fact that we're not pulling back, but continuing to push forward says a lot about the people who are here. We've been here as a medical school for over 250 years. And I think this building is a reflection of the fact that we're gonna be here tackling these challenges for many years and decades to come. The Penn campus is a unique place there are other peer institutions that do a good job at some aspects of this. None of them do what we do here. I'm really excited about moving into this new building. There's a lot of momentum, there's a lot of excitement. We're gonna see some really cool, innovative, creative things come out of this building.